Welcome to the Spinning Planet E107 video tutorials. In this first tutorial I'm going to show you how to log into the admin area of your website, the main features of the admin area, how to quickly create and edit a web page, and then how to format content on the web page such as adding titles, images and links. So let's go to a demo site that I created earlier. Uh, the first thing we want to do is log in. Um, on any website that we build, we normally put in the bottom right hand corner a link to the admin login area. If it's not there, all you have to do is put forward slash admin at the end of your domain name and press enter and that will take you to the login page. Uh, we sent you your administrator login details earlier, so just put those in and click login. And this will take you to the back end of the website. We've tried to keep this as simple as possible because there's basically only two areas that you'll be working in most of the time. You'll either be creating main site links or you'll be adding or editing web pages. There's lots of other stuff in here um, and we've got more advanced tutorials that show you that but most of the time you're going to be here. So let me just give you an overview of this page. Starting right at the top right hand corner here, you can either leave the admin area or log out. If you leave the admin area, you're still logged in and what that does though, is it gives you extra things when you're looking at the web page. So we can see now that this edit icon is showing up, that's only showing up because I'm logged in, which allows me to quickly edit that page, but I can also see other links that um, I've put in here that are only viewable to the administrator and that's just really ha um, helpful when you want to view your site stats or I've got a page here on how to update your website. Um, if we go back to the admin login area and click log out you'll notice we can't see the edit icon anymore and we can't see the extra menus and that's because we're not logged in. So let's log back in. Uh, then below that we have the main menu area um, main always returns you back to the main dashboard. Settings controls a number of different settings inside the system. Um, we've got more advanced tutorials on each of these that you can search for in our video tutorials area. Um, this is where you can create different users for the websites. Um, this is how to uh, where you've got the links to edit menu pages and menus and then some additional tools that advanced users might use and modules. Below that we have the main uh, what we call dashboard this is for editing because these are the main buttons that you'll use either preferences, creating site links or adding or editing pages or accessing the video tutorials. By default we give all of our clients a couple of Spinning Planet modules uh, the first one is SP Contact Us um, that's a contact form on your website that's easy for customers to use and it also records every person that submits a form so 12 or 24 months down the track you can go back and download that as a spreadsheet and see how many people have contacted you from your website. We also give you a copy of the Spinning Planet search engine optimization module. Um, this allows you to make your website more search engine friendly so it's got more chance of getting found by Google. We'll go into those um, modules in further detail in the third tutorial. But now what we're going to do is create a web page. I'm going to show you how easy that is. So you click on custom menu pages and then you click create page and we give it a name. I'll just call it Bryn as an example and then you want to create some content. So the first thing you'd probably do is create a title such as welcome. Now I want that to stand out so if I select it by clicking and dragging it I could make it bold and I could even make it italic but it's actually better to use these pre-built styles that we've created because what they'll do is they'll take the style of the website and show it on the web page. So I'll just give you an example. If I choose heading one, it might look a bit too bold for you in here, but just wait, because when you look at it from the public view, it will hear it inherit the whole style of the website. So I'll just show you what that looks like, and I'll just type some normal text below it. This is some normal text. I know that's a pretty basic page, but that's okay. 
I'll come back and I'll show you how to add some more stuff to it shortly. Most of the time you won't have to change any of these settings, so don't worry too much about them. But in this case I do want to create a main link, so I'll call the main link, whoops, Bryn. And I want the whole world to see it, which is everyone, and we click create page. So now we can click on that page and have a look. So it's pretty basic, but see how the heading one tag um, is using the site's formatting. So it's it's a nice and thin, it's the same font as what the rest of the website uses, and the normal text is the same font size. So we really encourage you to use those styles. Here's what all those styles look like by default. So I've got some examples in here. Here's H1, H2, H3, H4, H5. There's some different examples of font sizes, different examples of block quotes, ordered lists, and so forth. Um, if your page hasn't got this and you'd like this example page, um, just send us an email and we'll add it to your website for you. So let's go back and edit that Bryn page. So because I'm logged in, I can see this edit icon, so I'm going to go back in there. So what I want to do now is I actually want to have two columns of text, because they might be, let's say, two different football teams. So what you do is you draw a table. So you go Insert Edit Table. I want it to be two columns. Um, I'll make it, let's say, eight rows. And I want it to be 100% width of the entire page. And I want to give it a border of one. So there's my table. Now what I can do is I can go team one here and then team two here. And again, I want to apply my heading styles to that. So I used H1 for the main title. I'll use H2 for these ones. And then I'll just put in some names. John Doe and Jane Doe. Actually, I don't like that border. So I'm going to right click on it and go Table Properties and make the border zero because that looks ugly. And that looks better. So let's just um, update that page and go and have a look at it. So you click on that. And so now we can see we've got two columns here. We've got Team 1, Team 2, John Doe and Jane Doe. Let's go back into there. I'm going to show you how to add an image now. So if I click down here, you'll see there's a little icon up here called Insert Edit Image. So if we click on that, we can then click the Browse icon that's beside the image URL. And we want to then go to the Upload tab and then click Select Files. And I've got one that I put in here earlier which should be under demo files. So there's a, an Auckland image. I'll just go open and then upload files. That's just uploaded it. So now if I go back to browse for that image, I can just click on it to select it. See it's showing us the image there and I'll just give it a description. Uh, this is quite handy. Always fill these bits out where it says image description and image title. And the reason for that is is because Google actually reads those as well. So it helps with search engine optimization. So we click insert. And now let's go and have a look at what that looks like on the page by clicking update page. And then Bryn. And there we go. We've got our two columns and we've got an image in there. I now want to create a link. So let's click our edit icon. And what I'll do is I'll go below this image and I'll go, this is an example of a link. And what I'll do is I'll select that whole line of text there and I'll click this thing here, which looks like a chain, which is insert edit link and I'll put a link in. The links always have to start with http colon forward slash forward slash and I'll just link to Spinning Planet www.spinningplanet.co.nz and I want it to open in a new window because I don't want it to replace my website and then we just click insert 
and now it's showing that it's a link so let's go and try that out I click update page go and have a look at Bryn there's my link click on it and it goes and opens a new tab to the spinning planet website I'll show you um, another good trick you can also put a link on an image so select that image then click the insert edit link icon and again we'll go http colon forward slash forward slash www.spinningplanet.co.nz open in a new window a new blank window and insert what we also do here though is we don't want the image to have the blue border around it like a normal link does so just click on the insert Im edit, edit image icon appearance and change the border to zero and update so now we update our page go and have a look at that and then we can when we hover over the image we see the hand icon come up which means it's a link and we click on it and it opens a new window so that's how you create text and insert tables and create links for a page you can do a lot more advanced stuff and I'll show you that in the next tutorial um, I'm going to show you main site links how to add a video and how to add PDFs to your web page